Yeah, NASA's pretty good with Photoshop, but let's face it, they've had plenty of practice fabricating globe pics. Flat Earth, okay, I didn't see the hashtag at the end of the screen, cut it off. I hope they're, I hope they're joking. I know people like believe the flat earth thing, but I don't know why. Which, actually I do know why. Like we are kind of taking NASA's word for it. I know you guys are gonna be like, you sound like some fucking nutcase. But let's be honest here for a second guys. Have you guys ever been to, the highest I've been is in an airplane like 50,000 feet above where you know you see clouds and shit and then you see like those, the ground looks small, right? Like. I, we were literally taking their word for it. Like, we don't know. We're not professionals. We don't fucking look at that shit. I'm just saying. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central Vibe. It's your boy Pepper. We're keeping it spicy. And just sprinkle a bit of, sprinkle some of that shit for me right now. You know, funny story if you do this, it'll actually light a fire in the ground that shoots up sometimes. I don't know. Depends on who's editing this video. It's Alex. She'll do it. <laughs> Smash that like button. Let's get into it. Somebody tried to tell me there are 50 states in America. Nuh uh, because the scientists found out that Pluto doesn't exist. We got 49 dumbass. Wow. This guy's a real dumbass. I'm not going to lie. For the longest time, I was like, how many states are there? Is it 50, 51, or 52? And then I was like, no, it's either, I'm like, it's either 51, 52, right? And then I was like, no, 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 it's 50. And then I was like, wait, is it 49 or 50? And I can never know. Now I know it's 50. I've, I've known for a while that it's 50 states. I hope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 50 states. So. I, I grew up in Canada. They didn't really teach us much of American history that much. They taught us, what they taught us was like, America went to war, World War II, and then Canada really helped out. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, Canada really helped out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure 50 states. Um, I'm kind of an idiot though, I'll be honest with you guys. This happened like a year ago, but I did a video on LBQ, Life's Biggest Questions, which shout out LBQ gang gang, if you guys know the channel, it's a fun channel. I did a video about every single planet and I literally forgot to mention Uranus. And I'm not even joking, I forgot and the comments were like, did he purposely leave it out as a troll or did he actually not? And the truth is, a year later I will admit, I just forgot to mention the planet. It just went over my head. I literally skipped it when I was scripting it. So I'm an idiot too sometimes. I'm really racist and I'm proud, wow. That's not the tweet. You don't send that one out. I didn't apologize for anything. Has Justice, has Justine landed? Yes. And now I have full blown AIDS. Happy? I, can you scroll up a little bit? Did I miss something else here? Does this person not know how Twitter works? I'm really racist and I'm proud. I didn't apologize for anything. Has Justine landed yet? Yes, and now I have full blown AIDS. Happy? I, I actually don't even have words. I genuinely do not have words. I don't understand what I'm reading here. Did this person just randomly, like was this, you know that game when you type something and then you just press the, the suggestive words that Apple recommends on your phone to type a sentence? Is that what she did? Cause I don't understand. First of all, I guess, I guess it was 2013, different time. I guess in 2013 people did tweet out stuff like this and it was like okay, you didn't get canceled. So maybe I'm the issue, maybe I've been tainted you know, by this new society to cancel everybody for everything. You know, you can make jokes like that apparently and it's okay. No, like what, who does that? I, even in 2013 you don't do that. What does, what's the matter with this person? Can Mojang shut down Minecraft please? It's more painful ever I seen when someone kills poor animals in Minecraft and it's so unfair. Also it's a bad influence on kids for killing animals so please shut it down. Shut down Minecraft animal rights PETA. Is it PETA? It's PETA I think. Yeah. PETA would be funny too though. Ah, uh, I've never played Minecraft, but isn't it blocks or is that Roblox? I think it's Roblox. I thought Minecraft was also you run and you run, and you do speed runs. Are there any animals in Minecraft even? I thought it was just like Steve and the other guy, whatever his name is. My divorce husband and son playing Fortnite, and I'm so pissed off. I'm going to beat them up. My divorce husband and son playing Fortnite, and I'm so pissed off. Going to beat them up. So this woman is just straight up tweeting to her followers that she's going to assault her ex-husband and her child for playing a video game, and that upset her. Is that what? Is that what? I like, am I picking up what she's putting down there? Is there? I don't think there is any subtext. Like, I don't think there is any hidden message there. I think she's just laying it out on the line for everyone to see. Mm. So, all right. I don't want a man to wear glasses. I feel like that's a little gay. Fellas, <laughs> is it gay to see? <laughs> that's the best. I love that. I love when 
I love when people try to do this kind of stuff and like just that's the best response like what is it gay to see like what do you mean like what's like I also don't understand like in today's day and age why someone trying to call someone a homosexual is supposed to be an insult like even now on YouTube people will try to like make those comments to me and I'm like should I am I supposed to be offended by that like it's is that an issue? I don't understand. Like, what's, what's, where is the insult here? I don't understand. Like, if you told me, you know, attack my hair or say I have a big nose, that's much more hurtful to me than, than, than telling me, you know, what my sexual preference is. Even though it's not, it's irrelevant. It doesn't make a difference to me. So, honestly, it's so fucking rude that companies still discriminate against women. Like, who says women can't drink during pregnancy? Honestly, how sexist alcohol is canceled. Wow. I really hope she doesn't have a child. Or, you know what, no, because like this mentality of like, oh no, if they have a kid, they'll be just as stupid. Not necessarily, education is not necessarily, or intelligence isn't necessarily hereditary per se. I think as a child, you learn from your parents and then hopefully you get to a point where you experience other people, you know, other people's lives, you have experiences in your lives, other connections with people, and you realize there's more to the world than your beliefs than what your parents taught you. And then you start to read books, you start to educate yourself, which is, I'm a big believer in self-education. Read some books, check out YouTube, the internet, you know, there's so much knowledge out there that we could absorb. So I think, yeah, so that idea that like, you know, they're stupid, their kid's gonna be stupid, I disagree with that. But I hope that person does not have a child. I challenge you to name a show better than The Big Bang Theory. You can't, okay? The Office, Breaking Bad, The Simpsons, Family Guy, even Friends, I don't like Friends, but wait, Big Bang Theory is like dog shit in my hand, on fire, I swallow it, I eat it, I shit it out, and then I bury it, and then from the ground, maybe sprouts a plant, but probably not, because I don't think shit in itself could sprout, sprout anything. But hopefully the bacteria from my stomach, mixed in with the dog shit that I lit on fire and ate, caused some sort of creation, that when I shit it out and I bury it, there is a seed that sprouts at a plant, and that would be more entertaining than watching this garbage show. I do know how that show went on for so long. The same way Friends went on for so long, because it's mindless bullshit, you know, it helps people escape from their mundane day-to-day -day lives to feel like they're friends with these people on the camera. And it's like, bro, these people aren't, I'm, I'm more relatable than those fucking idiots. All right? Come on. You think those morons getting paid a million dollars an episode are fucking relatable? No, they just play characters and Joey's like, what's up, I'm the guy. And everyone's like, ha, ah, it's Joey. And then he goes in his fucking Mercedes and has everything given to him, because he's a celebrity. Whereas I have to walk up the street for my coffee like a regular human being. That's all I'm saying, guys. Let's go. That's all for this one, guys. I've been your boy, Pepper. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you stay spicy. You guys know I fucking love you so much. Give you a little kiss. I'm not gonna kiss the camera here because it's unsanitary. I did it at home once though for you guys. Kiss the lens. Anyways, I've been your boy Pepper, Mr. Spicy. A little flame coming out the mouth. And we'll see you soon. Uh -huh.